I'm guessing that most of our listeners have a fairly good knowledge of the history in the Old Testament and the history in the New Testament. That is, they know about Noah and Abraham and Moses. They've read the period of the judges. They know about the kings of Israel and even the exile and the return of the Jews to Israel. But what about the Jews after the time of Ezra and Nehemiah? What happened? Did they go into apostasy? What happened when the uh, armies of Alexander the Great came into the area? Or the Roman armies? In fact, how did the Romans come to conquer Israel? Well, in this series of messages, we're going to be looking at what happened between the Testaments. That period after Ezra and Nehemiah and before the birth of John the Baptist. And a lot of exciting things happened and things that help us to better understand the New Testament. Also, some very courageous Jewish martyrs who stood fast in their faith in God and were willing to die for their faith. Then we move into the New Testament. Again, I think most of my readers are familiar with the book of Acts. They've read it many times. They know the history there. But what happened after the book of Acts? And what happened to the other apostles who aren't discussed in Acts? Or with Peter, who is only discussed up until the time of Paul's first missionary journey? Well, again, in this message, we're going to be looking at what happened there. And some exciting things happened, things that affect our Christianity today. The important thing is, in all of these messages, what I share with you totally comes from primary sources, from writings from that very period of both Jews and of Christians of what was going on, what was happening. We've all read the book of Revelation, and when you read the letters to the seven congregations or seven churches, you read about the Nicolaitans. Well, who were they? What did they believe? What did they practice? Well, we'll be learning about that. We'll also be learning about the Gnostics. These were the people that John talks about in his first and second letter, where he discusses the ones who did not believe that Jesus came in the flesh. These were the Gnostics. And there was a reason they didn't believe that Jesus came in the flesh. And they became the major heresy that the early Christians had to fight against. So it's important that we understand who they were and what they represented. Because interestingly, some of the things they taught were resurrected at the time of the Reformation and are still being taught in churches today. Well, next I want to introduce you to some of the major writers of the early Christians. And so, in the message, Who's Who in the Early Church, we're going to look at Justin Martyr and Irenaeus and Tertullian, Origen, some of the people like that whose writings you're going to be uh, hearing quoted from and what they did and how they lived. And then I want to introduce you to early Christianity by taking you directly to their writings instead of me explaining to you what they said, what they believed. I'm going to be actually reading passages from their writings, some of the key writings, some of the more interesting ones. It'll give you a, a very balanced picture of early Christianity. And, and these are in the messages entitled, What Christianity Looked Like in AD 150, and also the one entitled, The Blood of the Martyrs. And then we close out this group with a message about the catacombs. You know, just last week I was reading a book that said that the early Christians, in order to escape persecution, uh, dug out the catacombs and they met underground secretly. But that's a total myth. That's not what the catacombs were. The early Christians didn't meet in the catacombs. We'll learn why they were created and the important role that they did play in early Christianity. But now all of this isn't just history. I didn't make these uh, lessons in order to stuff your head with knowledge. No, I want to inspire you through the testimony of the early Christians and what happened in the New Testament period to inspire you to a closer walk with Jesus Christ and to live more obediently and faithfully as you go through your daily life.